We are asking the Employment Equity Commission not to release the fitness certificate of FNB. According to NBWU, the affirmative action report was submitted to the Employment Equity Commission in March this year. Its stance remains that what is contained in the AA report does not represent what is on the ground as black employees are allegedly discriminated against at the expense of their counterparts. In a statement presented to the media, the union secretary general maintains that the bank fails to advertise strategic managerial positions as it allegedly does not want black Namibians to apply. It is true that some black managers are deprived of moving up the ranks in FNB. All strategic positions in FNB are occupied by whites, area managers, especially area managers, the head of departments. Currently in top management we have two people only. There were three, the head of human resources resigned recently, okay? So we have uh, the group legal advisor and the executive retail banking are the only black in top management. Ihuha further alleges that though there are or were black people serving on the committees and boards of the First National Bank, they had done nothing to change the current status. We don't blame the whites. We are blaming the regime of Advocate Ruvekwi Rikoro because he was a group CEO. He would have changed this picture. We are blaming the trade unions. Uh, stalwarts that are sitting on the board of FNB, Peter Newonga, number one, is a trade unionist, sitting on that board. Ranga Haikali, sitting on that board. Uh, Inge Damwani, sitting on that board. The union also appealed to parastatals in the country to opt out from banking with FNB for allegedly failing to comply with the country's AA legislation.